Welcome to the Crazy 10 or Less. This is the show where I give it to you in 10 minutes or under. And if I don't, who's going to know? Anyway, why do so many independents lose money hand over fist and wind up closing up shop? That's the topic of the day. I'm Sam the Crazy Man Vera. This is the Crazy 10 or Less. Let's talk crazy. Stop acting up. Get it? So, it's going on me because I'm an independent. And you've probably heard on Catch the Craze podcast, George and I talking about the risk factor. Uh, and we definitely felt our share of losses when we were doing, um, when we were basically publishing through Crazy Comics, which is my branded company. Uh, so, I decided to do some research just to give you some, not just to talk and give you some sound bites, but to give you some facts. And I tried to find the least costly options to be, to produce a book and to give you some things that you may not have considered before. And if you're starting out in comics, Get your pen and pad because it's class time. We're going to school, baby. If you've done this before, then you know. You know. You know. So, let's say you you want to produce a 24-page full-color comic book as an independent. And as an indep independent, you have say you're a writer. So, you have to outsource. And you have to hire an artist. And you have to hire a letterer and a colorist. If you're not doing any of those things yourself. So we're just going to go on that latter half. We're gonna, this is the scenario we're going with. So average page rate for an unknown. If you go to DeviantArt, you'll see that there's a lot of talented artists out there that are demanding really high page rates. But I'm going to give you the lowest common denominator to some of the extremes for an independent, right? So minimum $20 a page you're going to pay if you get lucky finding it. Most, mostly you'll find it internationally. Uh, if you find anybody in the U.S., um, you've really got lucky. Uh, but mostly you'll find it internationally. Uh, and you, there's a lot of talented artists out there. So say it's $20 a page, right, for an artist. So that's about $480, Right there. Colors. Right? Say you're doing $15 a page. That's about $360 for that book. A cover artist. You're going to pay at minimum $150. At minimum. For the cover. So that's $150. A letterer. Say you're doing $10 a page for the letterer. Right? It's going to add all the word balloons and, and, and sound effects and all that stuff. $240. Then... The cheapest printer I was able to find was uh, Comics Well Spring, which was Gecko Printing. So for a 24-page book, full-color cover, full-color interior, they were going to charge you $265. That's pretty good for 100 copies. For 100 copies. Right? So it's like $2.65 or whatever. I don't know. A copy. Right? So you'd have to sell it. And we'll get into that, right? So just that right there is $1,345 right there. Now let's talk about your time. Have you considered your time? So let's make this a business. You're putting in 40 hours a week, like standard practice. You are working 40 hours a week on your book for three months, right? That's the communication. That's the proofing, going back and forth with each Specialist, whether it's the colorer, the letterer, the, the illustrator, the cover artist, right? Maintaining your website, and we'll get to the price of your website in a second. So let's say your 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 pay your your hourly salary is twenty dollars an hour. So you're putting in six hundred dollars a week that you need to pay yourself that you're earning six hundred dollars a week, right? Times four weeks. Times three months. That's seven thousand two hundred dollars that you owe yourself that you're not producing. You don't have any revenue coming in, 
right? On top of the $1,345 that it's cost to produce that book at the lowest end for a 100-page comic book. Now, let's say you're paying $150 for your website annually, right? Add that to that. Say you're going to do one convention at the, when your book is ready. Just one convention. Average table. At, and I'm not talking about a local convention where you're going to get a couple hundred people. I'm talking about you say, I'm going to do a Wizard World or I'm going to do a, 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 a bigger con. $350 minimum for an artist alley table. All right? If you want a publisher's table, you're paying $1,500 or more. But say $350 you're paying. Add that to the price tag. Now, you need prints. So you're going to pay at least $1.25 a print for 11 by 17 full color gloss. So you do 100 So that's $125 right there. Now you need a tablecloth, right? Branded tablecloth with your logo on it. That's $200. Unless you're going to go cheap and go to go to Walmart and you're going to get something for like $50. Bucks. Right? But let's say you, you want people to know who you are. And then you want a retractable banner stand. You're going to pay $200 for that. So now the event's three days. It's out of town. You're paying $75 a night at a hotel, $225 right there. Boom. This is just one event. And say you decide you're gonna drive. So it costs you about $150 to $200 for gas and tolls. But then you also gotta pay for your art supplies, right? So you need ink, pens, and, and um, pencils and your paper to do commissions. If you're an artist, but if you're a writer, but you're going with the artist, the artist, this is what the, you're spending. Right? Then say $100 minimum for food. So three days, $100, you're, you're going to be very careful. That's minimum. You could probably spend about $200 or more for food, but I'm going to the low end, $100. So when you put all those costs together, you're talking about over $10,000 that you have to recoup, but you only printed 100 copies because that's what the budget called for. You put in 100 copies at $2.65 a copy for full color. That means you got to mark up the price. And it's a 24-page comic book. Average 24-page comic book page um, price cover price is $3. You could get away with $3.95, say 4 bucks. $4, 100 books. That's 400 books. That's, that's $400 you just recouped, but you spend over 10000 $400. Say you sold the prints. And you were doing the prints at $2 each. So that's $600. So that's $600 paid for the $350 table. Right? You take that away. So you got $250 left. Then you got the uh, $200 for travel. And the $225 for the hotel. You're in the red. You are in the red with just one event. Is it starting to click now? This is why it's so challenging. This is why so many people have failed. Because all of the variables, and these are just this is the lowest costly aspect example I was able to put together. You have to recoup that money. People just think, oh, I'm going to print these books. and Oh, look, I sold out. I sold all, all 100 books. You made nothing. You made nothing. So what's it going to take to make something? Really think about it. If you're going to do this, how can you make money? If you're going to do this, how do you not lose money? This is the crazy in 10 or less. I'm Sam the Crazy Man Vera. I'm sorry to be a Debbie Downer, but I came up, I thought about this and I said, like, you know what? Let me just put it in perspective and let's do some dollars and cents. Subscribe to the show. Ring the bell. Don't miss out on any other episode. This show is on SoundCloud and also on YouTube. Don't forget about Catch the Craze podcast. I appreciate you. More power to all you indies out there because I'm an indie. Let's find a better way to succeed in this game. Come on, man. It's like the rebellion in Star Wars. We got to do better. Peace.